Okay, I've been using this laptop for over a week now. Based on what I read about AMD and its Ryzen processors, I'm well aware of its exceptional performance, yet I didn't get an opportunity to experience it firsthand. All of this has changed now as this HP Envy X360 comes equipped with AMD Ryzen 7, Radeon graphics, 16GB RAM and 512GB high-speed SSD all neatly packed in this clean and compact design. The NV13 with the Intel i7 processor, though very capable, didn't have a chance to compete against the Ryzen 7 processor on certain occasions. Pay close attention to the video as some of the stats might help make or break your decision. Coming up is my review of the HP Envy X360. Let's get started. HP has refreshed the design of its NV2 in 1 lineup. It has taken a lot of cues from HP Spectre, which is one segment above it. A search for premium 2 in 1 laptop would land you in a crowded space with Dell XPS, Microsoft Surface Book, Lenovo's Yoga, even HP's own Spectre and Dragonfly lineup. The moment you add price to the mix, the space is close to being empty, and this is what HP has decided to crack with this NV lineup, and this 2 in 1 is no exception. The HP NV X360's aluminium chassis gives it a high-end feel and is comparable to premium laptops such as the Dell XPS and even the MacBook. I was pleasantly surprised to find that HP has passed on few of the design elements from its Spectre line such as slimmer bezels, tucked away speakers and a compact design. HP calls this color Nightfall Black and it gives a stealthy look to the laptop. If you look closely enough, you'll be able to appreciate the small details that HP has considered such as the sharper HP logo, simple and elegant NV branding, a completely integrated keyboard layout and an interesting speaker grille. The keyboard spans the entire deck and the keys are neatly spaced. This laptop uses a chiclet style keyboard and the key travel is 1.5mm. The power button and fingerprint reader are neatly integrated into the keyboard. There are also shortcut keys for some handy features such as muting microphone, camera shutter and HP command center. As I had mentioned in the other NV review, the keys look bigger but that is just an illusion as HP has made the character on every key bigger. The keys are backlit and there are two different brightness levels. HP NV X360 has a decently sized touchpad which thankfully uses precision drivers so two finger scrolling and pinch to zoom or a breeze to use. The touchpad has a slight matte finish and I'm not a great fan of it as I prefer the glass touchpad because the fingers tend to move smoother. If you are used to larger touchpads, then this will be restrictive, yet I wouldn't complain given the compact nature of the laptop. The dual speakers in the laptop have been moved down to accommodate the compact nature of the laptop. They are down firing and provide a reasonable audio quality and these come in handy when the laptop is used in different forms. More on that coming in the later part of the video. If you go just based on the Bang & Olufsen branding, you might be left disappointed as the speakers don't perform as the brand warrants it. Moreover, the performance cannot be attributed to the compact nature of the laptop as the 12-inch MacBook, which is both thin and lightweight, delivers amazing audio. Talking about the ports, HP has taken a conscious decision and it will not disappoint many. On the left side, there is a USB Type-C port that is capable of 10 Gbps signaling rate. Similar to NV13, this USB Type-C port can also be used for charging. There is a USB Type-A port with this fancy spring-loaded mechanism and finally a headphone-microphone combo port. On the other side, there is a micro SD card slot, another USB Type-A port and the charging port. Although the drop jaw hinge for the USB Type-A keeps the design clean, you might get frustrated as the laptop has to be lifted to use it. The screen is full HD. The images that this panel displays are nice, sharp and color accurate too. I was pleasantly surprised as this panel shall even comfortably fit into a laptop from a segment above Envy. The entire display is covered with this edge to edge glass and throws out premium vibes. Comparing it to the previous version, the bezels have been considerably trimmed down and the screen to body ratio is a cool 88%. I'm really interested to see what HP will bring next year. This laptop doesn't have the sure view functionality that was available on NV13. Although some people might prefer it, I'm not a great fan of it as the viewing angle suffered in NV13 even when the functionality was disabled. This NV X360 doesn't have any such viewing angles issue and can be comfortably viewed off angles. This laptop comes equipped with a touch screen which would be really handy as it can be converted into a tablet form. Here in the UK, this particular package doesn't include a pen. I tried a basic stylus and it responded quickly to its movement. The HP Envy X360 comes equipped with a 3-cell 51W lithium-ion battery. Given that this model comes with the AMD processor, 
I was apprehensive with the battery life as the previous Ryzen processors had suffered from issues related to power consumption when idle. Looks like this issue has been fixed with the 4000 series chipset as this laptop lasted about 9 hours for casual browsing. This can be easily extended by dropping down the screen brightness by a few nits. This laptop comes equipped with a 16GB DDR4 RAM and 512GB high speed SSD. Yet both are on board and not user replaceable. HP has used a simple 720p camera and there is nothing interesting to talk about. The camera will get its job done as it will be sufficient for video calls. Given that many meetings have turned virtual now, the camera in a laptop has never been this important. I wonder if manufacturers take note of this and provide a better camera going forward. Let's talk performance, as this little chap has a lot to offer. It is good to know about AMD Ryzen's performance on paper, yet it is always a pleasure when you see this in action. This Ryzen 7 power laptop crushes its equivalent Intel i7 counterpart in many benchmark tests. It is not only powerful in benchmark scores as it sails smoothly when browsing the internet with multiple tabs open, a music being played in a player and still wouldn't break a sweat when you open a 2GB movie file at the same time. I exported a 5 minute 1080p 24fps footage and it took 2 minutes and 14 seconds to export it completely whereas the same clip took 8 minutes and 33 seconds with the NV13 running on Intel i7 processor. The amount of performance you get at this price point is remarkable. Let me know in the comment section if you are interested in a comparison video between the NV13 with the Intel i7 and this X360 running on Ryzen 7. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, your subscription to the channel will be massively helpful. This HP NV X360 offers biometric authentication in the form of a fingerprint reader. You simply place your finger and you get logged in irrespective of whether the screen is on or off. There is no IR camera to enable face recognition, but I wouldn't complain given the price point. There is a physical shutter which keeps the camera away with just a click of a button. There is a handy indicator on the key to indicate the state of the shutter. I'll not be surprised if many manufacturers start using this and it quickly becomes a norm. Sticking to the privacy features, there is a key to mute the microphone. You get a sense of security when the microphone of the laptop can be disabled with just a click of a button. HP has managed to group all these keys along with the fingerprint reader and create a clean and minimalistic deck. HP has provided this laptop with a micro SD card slot, so there is one less adapter to worry about. Once the card is inserted, it fits flush. I have seen a few laptops that leave the card sticking out which doesn't look aesthetically neat. As the name suggests, this laptop screen can be turned all the way back to convert it into a tablet. The laptop is able to recognize the change and puts it in tablet mode. This disables the keyboard and there are no accidental keystrokes. When compared to the 15 inch model, I prefer this 13 inch model as it will be easy to handle in the tablet mode. HP has built a solid hinge as it provides the right amount of resistance to keep the laptop in different forms. This laptop is sure to become a party piece as it can go into various forms depending on the use case. There are a few things that I would like in the next NV series. A second USB Type-C port instead of the charging port, a 16x10 aspect ratio screen as it would provide more vertical space, a bigger touchpad made of glass and finally it would be super cool to open the laptop with just one hand. Dell has moved its XPS line and I want HP to do the same. Right, my final thoughts. This HP NV X360 has left me in awe as it has never been easy for me to recommend a laptop in this price range. Everything about this laptop is top notch, right from the bright and sharp screen to the comfortable keyboard and a processor that provides stunning performance, a premium design and still the laptop can do a 360. This laptop is a clear winner and would fit perfectly for someone looking for a premium experience that doesn't demand a premium pricing. Ok guys, this is my review of the HP NV X360. Do leave your questions in the comment section below and definitely get subscribed. Thank you so much for watching, catch you in the next video.